you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Are you claiming, who are you claiming to be? And Jesus answered, if I were to seek my own glory, what would be no glory at all? My glory is conferred by the father by the one of whom you say, he is our God. Although you do not know him, but I know him. And if I were to say I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourself. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said, I, you are not 50 yet, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this, they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and left the temple. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever keeps my word but I know him and I faithfully keep his word the first reading we see God making a covenant with Abraham making a promise that Abraham will have descendants as many as the stars of the sea generations into generations and as far as long as Abraham and descendants keep their word, God will keep his. But we've seen even when man does not keep his word, God still keep, keeps his. For God does not go back on his word. Covenants, not contracts, but sworn oath one to another but with God God makes it with us at different times in our lives persons can enter into covenants a keeping of word keeping of a promise couples when they marry promise Religious and priests promise. At confirmation, persons were confirmed promise. And through the sacraments, desire to hold themselves to promise between God and themselves. And in doing so, the hope that a word will be true, I promise. During Lent, the start of Lent, different promises might have been made. Lord, I will pray. Lord, I will fast. Lord, I will offer alms. And each one is an opportunity for us to hold to that promise. Covenants allow us to look at our word anew as to whether or not we hold to that which we say to God. 
God, I promise. This day, O oh God, as we come before you and make our promises, help us to keep to them. Help us help each other keep to them. That married couples will again renew their promises. That religious and priests will keep their promises. That those confirmed will keep their promises. That persons in office of responsibility will keep their, their promise. And just maybe God, just maybe, we will experience the covenant you made with us, not only in this life, but in the next. This we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. And our response, may your world light up our way. May your world light up our way. We give praise to Christ our Lord, the radiant light of the world. He guides our steps in a path of light, and he no longer lives in darkness. Let us turn to him in confident prayer. May your word light up our way. Christ our Savior, may we grow today in your likeness. May we gain through the second Adam what is lost by the first. May your word light up our way. May your word take flesh in our lives and your truth shine forth in our actions. May your love burn brightly within us. May your word light up our way. Teach us to work for the good of all, whether the time is right or not. Make your church a welcome light for the whole human family. May your word light up our way. We always treasure your friendship and come to know its depth. May we atone for the sins against your wisdom and love. May your word light up our way. Stand by your people, Lord, who place all their trust in your mercy. Wash away the stain of our sins. Make us live in your presence our whole life long and bring us to the inheritance you have promised. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.